The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Our next guest thought she just had an irritating pimple on her nose until it turned out to be something much, much worse. Take a look at her story. The summer of 2016, great summer. Was playing volleyball, working as a model, hanging out with friends, traveling. And then August, I noticed this small little lesion, almost like pimple-like, right on the side of my nose. It started bleeding, and then it scabbed, and then it would go away. So I didn't think anything of it, and then it came back. There was something in my gut that said, like, you need to go get it checked out. I asked the dermatologist if he would do a biopsy on it. I got a phone call, and he said to me, you have cancer. I had a basal cell carcinoma. I was like, what is, what is going on? Is this for real? So I went in for my Mohs surgery with my dermatologist. I thought this was gonna be a quick fix. Go in, have a few stitches, but it wasn't. It got to a certain point where he said, this is way worse than I had imagined. And I have to refer you out to a surgeon. He gave me a mirror and I had a hole in my face. We found Dr. Kian Karimi. He got me in that next day and said, we'll take it slow. We'll take a conservative approach. For about two weeks, I was in and out of the doctors, getting layer by layer cut out. It was very deep. It was growing longer and wider. The first time I saw my face, I took off the bandage and almost passed out. Normal face? Not to normal face. When you see your face like that, I thought they're never gonna get this cancer out. They're never gonna be able to fix this. I'm going to be disfigured. I was terrified. Kaylin's plastic surgeon, Dr. Kian Karimi, is joining us today. And, and Doc, I, I mean, I know nasal reconstruction can be really, really difficult, challenging. This looks like it was a really complex case. Uh, like you said, uh, nasal reconstruction is always very challenging, but this was the most complex case I'd ever encountered. You know, people don't realize the nose is more just what you can see. It's the internal structure that supports it, the lining that serves a function. So when you undertake these cases, a lot more to it than meets the eye.